40 number definitely has the power to seduce. Volkswagen has given the car a complete visual and technical makeover. The front of the Shi Rocket changed as well. We got new headlines, they're a bit smaller and a bit slimmer. We got a new grille and we got that one new as well. So the whole car looks a lot deeper to the ground. The rear, lit exclusively with LED lamps, has also been revamped. The VW badge is not just for looks, it has a practical function. It can be swiveled and used as a handle to open the stylish tailgate. The lines of the new Sirocco have become sharper, more robust and more precise. Soft edges have been brought into line in a striking fashion. Just like the Golf GTI before it, the Sirocco also consciously plays the sporty car. This applies to its external design as well as the interior. Here we can expect a standard among other features, sports seats, a leather sports steering wheel, air conditioning and hill start assist. The high performance sound system Dynaudio Excite was developed specifically for the Sirocco. The interior of the Sirocco has changed as well. We got new colors and we got a new dashboard, it's the one from the GTI, and we got a new steering wheel, the one from the GTI as well, and we got some new instruments up here. We can see the oil temperature, we can see the pressure of the turbo, and we also have a lap timer. The complete engine redesign is a result of years of hard research and development. All four petrol engines and both of the diesels have one thing in common. They're more powerful than their predecessors, yet still manage up to 20% more economy. You can choose between two turbo diesel engines with 150 or 184 brake horsepower and four turbo direct injection petrol engines starting at 125 and going up to 280 bhp in the new Sirocco R. All of the new Sirocco models attain top speeds of more than 124 miles per hour. The top of the range model, with the R on the back, can go 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds and tops out at 155 miles per hour. The fact that the additional power is so well delivered, exactly where you most need it, is down to the clean design of the chassis. It's streamlined and comfortable at the same time. The steering is precise and responsive, ensuring safety in the event of any surprises. The new version of the Sirocco really works, but not just because of its great new looks, it's more powerful and more economical than ever before. The coupe is a very attractive prospect for all those drivers who enjoy a compact and agile sports car that's well 96, but a lot's changed since then. Nearly 20 years on, the small car has evolved into one of the most popular little powerhouses on the road. Seat are already rumored to be working on a complete redesign of the car in time for launch in 2017. So, this is primarily a facelift. But don't let that put you off. Not much has been changed with the exterior styling, which pretty much everybody agreed was fantastic from the previous model, but it has been sharpened here and there. We have new LED headlights at the front and really great 17-inch alloy wheels to set the style off. At the rear, we have large rear diffusers and a twin exhaust pipe in the middle that really make the car feel muscular and sit nicely on the road. The inside of the car feels clean and fresh. A lot of attention has been paid here to making everything being stylish and uncluttered. It looks very similar to the Leon Cupra and has some really nice styling details, like these new air vents, a larger display, a new steering wheel, and of course, a new gear stick. But more on that later. All that power being delivered to the front all at once means that you really benefit from the XDS. It makes sure the power is beautifully controlled, so when you put your foot down and call on it, there's no slip at all. Well, the last Ibiza Cupra was no slouch, but this one has an extra 12 brake horsepower and an extra 70 newton meters of torque, and when you put those two things together, what you get is a lot more fun. The real changes that have taken place are here with the engine. The Cupra comes with a 1.8 litre TSI petrol engine that now produces 189 brake horsepower. That's 12 horsepower more than the previous model, but wait, it also has an extra 70 newton meters of torque, and that's a lot of power to deliver to the front wheels. So, to compensate, Seat have fitted the car with a new electronic differential, or XDS. That should help to make sure that all the power goes exactly where you want it to. Let's find out how it works. 
The new engine features a direct and an indirect fuel injection system which is particularly helpful in lowering emissions and fuel consumption. Combined, they give the Ibiza Cupra a powerful sprint time of just 6.7 seconds for 100 km per hour and a top speed of 235, while still maintaining a fuel efficiency figure that Seat says is just 6 litres. Although we didn't manage to achieve anything like that during our testing. But let's be honest. We're not going to spend all of our time with this car driving it fast and hard around mountain roads. So how is it going to handle with everyday driving to the shops and around town? Well, we have driven this car through Barcelona rush hour traffic, which is no picnic, I can tell you. The answer is satisfyingly great. The car, although it's designed for sport,